Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac New Safe File. I'm going to jump in this time as The Hollow. This is a character that I'm, I've am i kind of been wanting to add to the series for a while, um, but I've just never got around to. I did a showcase on this character and I really, really enjoyed them. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen them before, basically this character is completely based around blue flies and sort of being like a kind of walking hive, uh, but it also has a lot of unique synergies as well. So you'll see up here we've got like a fly counter, that's how many flies we've got. We've also got a um, locust that we can control. Uh, so this guy is a soul heart only and I believe picking up red HP, um, as in like health ups, increases the amount of flies we can generate at a time. But you'll see that we're just passively generating flies here. Um, and early on, kind of the, the, the sort of way that we play this guy, he's playing a little bit passively, trying to stay out the way of things, and um, just trying to generate more and more flies. Uh, then later on, it gets a bit, a, a little bit different. So, heal one red heart after five uses, has a chance to do a Mamma Mega Explosion and remove the item guaranteed to explode at nine uses. Okay, so this doesn't do anything for me, so I guess I can just use this for a Mamma Mega explosion. So I'll, I'll hold on to it for now. Um, I could get the keys from this room here, but yeah, I'll just hold on to it for now. Come on, green fly. Get the poop for me. Ah, not quite able to get all the coins there, but honestly, three's not bad. Four even. Whoa, -ho -ho, baby. Love that. But yeah, um, what other characters do you guys want to see on the series? I, I, I've sort of... I'm not going to be adding them speedily, but it's good to have a list um, of ones to come. A list of characters that are kind of on the docket, ready to go. Um, backlogged, so to say. But yeah, I just had a, a very, very good weekend this weekend. And for the question of the day, I'm just going to keep it simple. How was your weekend? How has it been? Because, um, yeah, mine was pretty good. Um, on, uh, on Friday, just kind of stayed in with my girlfriend and we played some... Um, Four Souls and just watching films and stuff like that. We ended up re-watching um, Zoolander, which is a favourite of mine. Such a good film. Um, and then on Saturday, we ended up having a bunch of friends over to make burgers. Um, I made my own, like, burger buns and um, smash burgers. And, ooh, they were good. They were really good. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> I'm going to use a bomb here because it's taking a while. I think bombs early on... Might be pretty good, because obviously our flies are going to deal two times our damage, and our base damage, as you can clearly see, is very, very low. So we do have to sort of play around with this a little bit. Unfortunately, we got this. I am just going to take all the pills here, because I kind of need all the advantages I can get. Tears up is... I don't really know if tears up does much for us, but I'll, I'll take it. Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, and yeah, let's just keep it going. Yeah, so we ended up having a bunch of friends over. We were going to play uh, some more Four Souls when we had our friends over, actually. Um, they, they played the game before. They knew about it. Um, Rerolls, items, and pickups for a price may instead destroy them. Okay, I'll probably take that. I'll, I'll find somewhere to, to, to use this um, active to make use of it. I don't just want to waste it or like not use it. So I guess I'm finding somewhere where there's something bombable that will be of use to me, I guess. I don't really know the best way to describe it, but I don't know what we're looking for, but we're looking for something. We're certainly looking for something. Okay. Thank you for the extra penny. Because obviously we want to try and get a secret room. Um, we also want to try and get some consumables from behind stuff that you'd normally require flight for. It's a few different places, but you, you can guarantee that this floor isn't going to have any of those places. Um, there's, there's not going to be like a a room with a bunch of stuff over a, um, behind some rocks or something like there was on the last floor. It's going to make me kind of waste this opportunity. So th this guy is tanky as all hell right now. We're just kind of chilling out next to him and hoping our flies do their thing. Oh, bollocks. You need to be careful because health is very limited as this guy. I say that and I... Oh boy, okay, we got we got some spiders here, that's because the heart drops at the end of the room, they get converted. I, I honestly cannot believe the amount of damage I just took to that enemy. I was like, let's be careful, and I just walked into his shots three times in a row. The worst part is I really have no reason to get close to enemies other than trying to latch my blue flies onto them, so that was just completely and utterly pointless. My bad. 
I do need to be more careful here. Maybe I'll just use the Mamma, Explo Mamma Mega Explosion on the boss. Just get a quick boss kill from it. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. Come on, flies. Get him. There you go. There you go. Easy. Um, I don't know if Tears does much for us, I'll be honest. I have no idea what Tears would do for this character. Right. Let's go, let's go. Same with Shot Speed as well, to be honest. I don't know if they're going to factor in at all, really. We'll take this. So, I don't exactly know. It says for a price. Does that mean it costs me? Or does that mean it re-rolls into stuff that costs? I'm, I'm, I'm not... I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work, but I guess we'll find out in due time. Give me that penny. Snake oil, I don't think it's going to do anything for us. Um, I'm sure to bomb this and see if we can get something better. The Lego Man is not terrible. I, I guess I'm just going to take the Lego Man. We got a moon card, which I'm just going to use. Oh, hello. We got time itself. I don't know if that's going to be useful as this character either, I'll be honest. We're, we're just going to have to find out. God damn. This, uh, this Lego head here is looking a bit funky. Oh, hello. Um, I'm very, very uh, upset that it's decided that this is the way it wants me to exit this room. Not, not the greatest. Is there not another way out of here? There isn't. Thanks for that. <laughs> that's a bit evil. Right, anyways. We could we could use these studs to be fair to uh get this soul heart. We'll grab the sun card. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I don't know if time itself is gonna really do anything for us. I don't know if it's gonna apply on hit. Because I don't know if the uh modded item synergies will be sort of work the same. Anyways, we don't want Devil Deal, we're gonna go Angel. We'll go to the next floor and we'll pop a sun card. So far, we've not got anything that's really making this run pop yet, but We'll get there, we'll get there. We shall get there. Crosses a soul heart across there. Perfection itself. We need more hearts so we can generate more flies. At the minute, only having five is definitely a limiting factor for us. We also need some on-hit effects so we can make use of these studs. That would be very, very nice. Um, even just like a fanny pack or something. Oh god, these guys are... These guys are tanky. Yeah, definitely could use a damage up as well. I think this character is going to be kind of one of those ones where your your first few floors actually matter quite a bit. Of course, I used goddamn sun card on a floor where I don't have mapping. What an idiot. Also, I managed to step on that creep. For some reason, I've, so, I've said this before, my brain just doesn't register yellow creep as dangerous. I, I don't know what it is about it, but for some reason, it just doesn't click in my head that yellow creep still damages you just the same. It's very frustrating. Right. Yeah, so things are a little, little bit slow going at the moment, but we've not got many great items, and we've unfortunately had a few actives early on as well. Come on, guys. Taking forever to kill. Yeah, I, I think getting a, get, getting like a, a boss item that's a damage upgrade early on is pretty imperative to like... Oh, really? Didn't think you'd do that. Um... Pretty imperative to doing well as this guy, I think. I think we've uh, missed out on any damage ups early, and it's or, or health upgrade, should I say? And it's it's, it's coming round to screw us a little bit because goddamn, things are taking a while. But this character is kind of one of those ones that balls out of control. He starts off pretty unassuming, pretty weak, but late in the game, if you get some of the right things, he can be kind of crazy. Okay. So yeah, I don't even know if I want to use my active, because if it costs, like, red hearts to, like, buy whatever it re-rolls into, it could be really problematic for me, because I don't have any health right now. Okay, is this, is, I was just about to say, is it going to be possible for me to finish this guy in time? Okay, it is good. That's just a really good item in general, and that should give us, yes. Okay, so that at least gives us the bonuses to, um, to our flies. We can now have seven. So we've at least got one bonus in that regard. Also, speed upgrade is, is pretty damn nice as this guy. This, this room kind of scares me. A lot going on there. Get over here. 
Good, good. Yeah, I think we're speeding up combat a little bit here. Oh, God. Rooms like this just, like, melt my brain as soon as I walk into them. I look at it and I'm like, oh, God. It's so overwhelming. Right, back the way we came. Do you have a tinted rock there as well? Great stuff on the soul hearts. Very happy about that. Okay. And the grape fellas. Well, are they meant to be grapes? They must be right. Because there's like carrots and stuff, so I don't see why it wouldn't be. But they definitely look like grapes. But yeah, seven is way better because we can enter a room with a bit, a bit more of a healthy fly army. Even if we don't have as much damage. Oh, is that another tinted rock back there that I just missed? I think it is. Stop healing everyone, little farmer boy. Yeah, it's in a drop right there, look. Okay, so we need another bomb for that if we can get one. Oh, dude, there you go. Extra spiders as well, lovely. What do these guys do again? Okay, nothing. Nothing really. I'm liking this trinket we've got as well, by the way, that's just creating fires under enemies that we kill. Like, not super useful in most rooms, but when there's like chasing enemies and stuff, seems like it could be damn good. Right, let's check in here. So let's just see. Okay, it did re-roll that and it does now cost more. I see. So it does It does attach a cost to uh, to whatever it re-rolls into, I see. So we kind of at least know how that works now. It's very good to know. Okay, we've got bombs. We need to go back and get that tinted rock. Very tempted to use my bombs against you. Of course, what I can do here is like kind of sit in a safe spot and just generate a bunch of flies. And just hope they do their job. But this, it seems to be working reasonably well. I can sit here and generate. Maybe maybe tears up increases the rate at which the flies generate. I, I'd, I'd be willing to bet that that's the case. That would make the most sense, right? It'd be, it'd be weird to have tears up as a stat that doesn't do anything too. So I imagine it's got some use. But yeah, we found like a nice little home to nestle into here where you can't get us. Um, that's going to gulp our trinket and give us two soul hearts. It also gives us a pill. Quite like that. It gives us a ver. We got a holy shit pill. Um, don't think we need that right now. Right, let's quickly just go back here. And it's next to here, right? Yeah, there you go. Beautiful stuff. Unfortunately, we've lost our beautiful hollow um, facade on our character because of some of the items we've picked up. Right, uh, yeah, I think we'll just keep going. So I, th I think I think we've definitely got a little bit more going on now that um, now that we've uh, managed to for one gulp this good trinket and get Capricorn. We've also got all the health going here. But we still need a few more HP ups to really drive this home. I think, or like a few more damage ups. So, uh, Capricorn obviously gave me some damage. It was actually a pretty substantial amount. Okay, this this room kind of doesn't really work for this character. Because, yeah, this is this is kind of horrendous. Because the flies are running into the, the bubbles. Rather than the enemy. Um, so I, I can't I can't really do anything here. <laughs> I'm just at the whim of the game right now. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't super fair, but then again. Who's going to design a specific room like that around this character and this character only? Wouldn't make sense. Okay. Be careful. A few freaks around. We've got a few of you guys. You, you guys just do the split shot, right? Yes, you do. Okay. Tears up again. Awesome. Let's have we do it. Still have that ver. I'm going to bomb both of these. I am very, very happy I did that. Wow. Good stuff. Still don't have an on-hit effect, though, because uh, if we do, it makes our studs way more valuable. Um, so I'm hoping that comes along at some point, but we'll see. Good that we've got a bit of money now, because it means we can use our active potentially a little more. Of course, it's kind of like the Eternal D6, where it could just have a chance to delete whatever we're trying to reroll. Um, but... Hopefully that doesn't happen too often. I don't know what the chances of that are. It might, it might be the same as the Eternal D6 at 30%. It might be a little more skewed towards removing them at 50. I'm not quite sure. So we'll, we'll just play around with it. Okay. 
good, good. Ah, really? Good. Where is our shop or item room? Either or would be nice. Beautiful. Yeah, I, I think now we've, we, we've gotten to the point where we're able to clear rooms at a reasonable rate. With the, uh, the amount of damage we have. It's still not crazy. We've still got a bit of, uh, bit of growing to do, but like I said, this character really kind of pops off towards the late game, so expecting a lot early, just, it, it isn't really going to play. Okay. Yeah, having these fires about, oh my god, that was a really bad hit. Having these fires about is super, super nice as well. Lots more money is awesome. No more bubbles, please. It's very annoying that the, uh, the flies target the bubbles as if they're enemies. Really creates quite the issue for us. Okay, so here's our shop, at least. Oh, Lord. Froggy boy. Ah, you just spewed your child straight into the fire. Why would you do that, you fool? Come on, this thing's taking forever to die. We'll quickly check out our shop. Okay, this is actually kind of good to be honest. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop my damage up here as well to make this fight go a little bit faster. Oh yeah, that damage is nice. We need damage like this, making our life so much easier. And steam sale is absolutely lovely, especially with this active um, in in the way that it works. I think this could be potentially very very good. Okay. Just only reroll stuff that I definitely aren't going to take, though. Or that, like, definitely won't work with this character sort of thing. Or, obviously, other actives. That's another one that's a guarantee to reroll. Yeah, stop spawning bubbles! God damn, why do they target the fucking bubbles? Bubbles in enemies. <laughs> oh my god, this is infuriating. I can't fucking kill this guy because it keeps targeting the goddamn bubbles. I'm just going to bomb him. Okay, he, di he died right as I planted the bomb, for god's sake. Very frustrating. Herman guy got me there. It's okay, our health is still looking fine. I'm worrying a little bit, but I don't think I really should be. I think I think we're in a reasonably good spot here. More bombs. That was a bit shit. I should have probably got a few more kills before I did that. I didn't think you could only get a key. I thought a black heart was the minimum payout, so I was like, I'll just take the black heart. Friends, friends till the end. I mean, that kind of works quite well for this guy, friends till the end. <laughs> right, we didn't see our item room, so let's skibbity hop back over that way and try and find that. Here we go. Good, good. Nightshade is pretty darn good. I'm going to take it, because not only is it just a good item for defense, but it's going to create wisps that allows us to actually shoot, which is pretty positive for us, I think. I'm pretty happy with Nightshade there. Also, I'm pretty sure secret room's here. Yeah, there you go. We got another mushroom. Let's crack that open. So I'm going to re-roll this because it's an active. Uh, what? Oh, there you go. And for for four, we get 10 per tantrum. Um, to enter Berserk state when taking damage. Every While in the state... Oh, okay. Let's, let's give that a go. Why not? Fish oil. Okay, pretty happy with that. Temper tantrum for four, for, uh, four doll hairs. Rather nice. Oh, hello. You've uh, hurt yourself in the red poops. But yeah, so now we get these uh, these herming wisps. And it allows us to actually fire at things. Pretty darn useful for this character. That's fine by me. And we'll see what we got in here. Rosary's also fine by me. Again, I don't really know if the tears up does much for us, but I'm I'm happy to have it regardless. Damn it! Unfortunately, no more uh, extra hearts there. Now this is probably going to be a lengthy fight. I'm glad I've got one fire still available to me. Hey, we at least get one purple wisp here. I'm, I'm literally just going to try and, as much as I can... Oh, really? He got rid of the wisp. 
as much as I can try and scare this guy into this fire. Kind of the best way to kill the angels when you have low damage, to be honest. It works remarkably well. There you go, we'll grab that. Just for the higher angel chance. We might do Mega Satan, we'll see. Um, right, let's grab this. Go. Yeah, Rosary I'm reasonably happy with. Reasonably happy. Let's keep it moving. I, I really want to use my active more, but I've just not been getting many items that, like, sort of make it worthwhile. Um, I'll take it, but I don't think that's going to do anything for us. A luck-based chance to fire a tier seems like something that would definitely, definitely not work for us. Yeah, these guys are very, very frustrating for us. Come on. But yeah, kind of think of um, our wisps as like a sort of strange, strange form of um, lusty blood. We get more damage as we kill more enemies in the room. Also, can we just talk about the fact that I'm now at full health? Wow. So like in rooms like this, it's not great because I'm not I'm only gonna get one wisp out of this for the second monster. But for bigger rooms with a lot of enemies, it's real good. Yeah, this this room's gonna take a little while. I'm just gonna have to kind of play it slow. Wait for this guy to die. There you go. Then I get my wisp. Get a few homing shots in there. But it's also for the protection too. It gives us a, a suite of of wisps to block shots. So it's good all around. I'm going to use it for damage like that as well. Right. Oh, really more of these guys. Enemies that are an absolute pain in the ass for us to dodge and hit. Really? God damn it. It's not that hard to dodge, to be honest. It's just if I want to get my flies on him and doing full damage, I kind of have to be quite close. How are you not dead yet, my guy? God damn the health on those things. Good. White Rose. Again, I don't know if Tears Up does anything for us. I'm gonna I'm gonna try re-rolling. Doctor's remote, nah, I'll, I'll try and give that another re-roll. Good. I think I'll just go for the boss. We got guts. Oh shit. I, I just used a bomb and tried to push it with my tears. I don't have tears. I can't do that. It does not work. Oh, we've entered Berserk State. Are you kidding me? With Temper Tantrum, I can enter Berserk, but I can't fucking use the... It doesn't give me the jawbone. <laughs> it literally doesn't let me use it. God damn it. I didn't realize that would be the case. I thought it'd still let me use the jawbone. Damn. So Temper Tantrum was a bit of a waste to pick up, to be honest. I could have probably done without that. Pretty funny. <laughs> Again, don't know if this is going to do anything for us. Tears up is nice, I guess, but yeah, I just don't know. Ghost Pepper. Golden Ghost Pepper for three. Um, Again, I don't actually know if that works. I, I'll be honest. Whoa, I had no head for a minute there. Why, why, why in this room do I have no head? What the heck? Every second room, I don't have a head. Yeah, I don't actually know if I'm able to fire the ghost peppers, or if there's any synergy with that. But I have it now, and I have two of them. I have to pick it up to find out. Okay, good. Check this out. Two room. I will take a key and then reroll the rest. I'll hold on to the vet for now. Oopsie. Skip past you there. Yeah, certainly a bit of a weird one right now. You get sulfur for the room for five. Seems fun. So as you can see, with sulfur, there is a bit of a synergy going on. Flies are going to randomly fire brimstones when they hit enemies. Pretty awesome. 
You gotta love that. <clears throat> Beautiful. How are these guys not dead? Come on now. Okay, there you go. Good, good. Come on, shop. Where you at? Looks like I've been going for ages. Trying to find this damn shop. Ow. Oh, dude, my flies. They don't aim at that guy when he's got his head up. And with you as well. Good, good. Pick up my uh, immoral heart once more. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think Bird's Eye is doing anything for us right now. I would like to see this character expanded more to, like, have some synergy with stuff like that. Well, he's got quite a few synergies already. Electric Dice is not good for us right now, I wouldn't think. Range up, I'll, I'll take. I'll grab that. I, I think I'm going to re-roll it and see what we get. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll take that. Got a stars card here. I will use stars card on the next floor. Okay. Let's get gone. One sec. Okay, let's keep her going. Sorry about that. Right. Skip all the way back to our boss room and get gone. Yeah, I'm hoping we get like a holy light or something for my angel deal. Because I'm, I'm sure that'll do some, uh, some synergies with, um, with our flies. No secret room there. I'm not, I'm not going to spend ages looking around for secret room. I know I have golden mums. Pop in here real quick as well. Okay, that is one of the worst of ones of these rooms I've ever seen. God damn. One second. Right, keep it going. Ah, should, should, should just use my stars card to be honest. Oh, there you go. Another, another pepper base thing. Chance to shoot uh, green fires which explode on contact. Again, I don't think this will work for us. So I'm just going to try and re-roll it. And unfortunately, for the first time, we uh, we had an item disappear on attempting to re-roll. But I had to give it a go because I didn't think it would work for us. Um, unfortunately, I don't think Cactus will work for us either because we can't shoot him. Um... Compost is compost is actually pretty good, right? Because I can double my flies. Yeah, okay. Compost is kind of ace here. Slightly upset that I didn't take electric dice now. Although I don't know if that would have changed much. Was there any other items in that room that I could re-roll on? Not really. But yeah, this is... Compost is real good for us. You know, to double our flies. Of course, if we had it at a one room charge, it would be absolutely busted. Which is what I was hoping to do with that shop there and try and reroll and get a 9 volt. But it ain't as easy as that. But yeah, it means like every other room we have to start the room with a lot of extra flies. Which obviously is a pretty huge benefit. It doesn't make every single room easier, but every other room is going to be easier. This is Mum, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, we got one of you. Hello. Wasn't expecting one of you. Okay, let's just use our wisps. Do a bit of extra damage. We need that uh, item that makes it so that wisps, like, can survive more and do more damage. Right, there you go. But even that look... The damage is... Yeah, look, I've got fucking rage mode here and I can't fucking do anything. It's so funny. Great stuff. Doesn't give me a, a jawbone or anything to hit anything with. But yeah, definitely a little bit of a lower damage run as the hollow here, but he can really pop off. He has a lot of interesting synergies. We've seen the Brimstone one today, but hopefully we can see more as we as we go forward with this character in the future. I just I just really like his playstyle. It's, it's pretty unique. Um, of course, he does have the sort of chance to be a bit more humdrum sometimes, um, and, like, not get a super powerful synergy, uh, but overall, I, I really like him. Okay, that damage up is going to be huge. Let's just go down. God damn. 
But yeah, now, now that we've got a good bit of damage going, we can probably clear rooms reasonably quickly here. Sadly, really the main thing... Oh, we, we, we do actually have some synergy here, look, with uh, Dark Matter. Some flies are uh, black that fear enemies. Um, yeah, unfortunately, one, we didn't really get many early damage ups, but also... We didn't get, um, like, any at all, uh, what are they called, um, HP ups. We got one. So, our fly limit being seven is a, is a little bit lackluster, um, really. I'd like to get flight and, and hop over and take that D100, you know, and just try a full reroll and see what we end up getting. Because there's a lot that can happen with this character, so I'd like to see if I can do that. So, I guess we're looking for a Hanged Man card at the moment. Ow, that, man, that dude managed to whip me. Good, good. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking for either Flight or a Hangman card right now. But yeah, Dark Matter here, not only adding good damage, but now a random chance for flies to be like black and fear enemies is pretty cool. I like that. Double these bad boys. Oh my god. Taking some bad damage right now. Gift card is pretty good. Maybe do some stuff with gift card. Ooh, these, these nail enemies. I always forget how they work, but it scares me. They, like, trade their nail between each other, and yeah, it's, it's kind of freaky. Got a random pill there. I'm not going to bother taking that for now. Oh, God. Attacks. For some reason, I just wasn't expecting that at all. There's a D8. See, ah. I could use that to hope for more damage, but if it lowers my damage, it's going to be real rough. I am taking some pretty bad damage right now. Need to be more careful. Oh my god, I said I need to be more careful. And I immediately do something that's likely to get me hit. Just the way I play at the minute, I think. I Just my brain. It's not... It's not what it used to be. It's not what it cracked up, all it cracked up to be. Can't do simple things like dodging. Now, nah, but to be fair, this character's a sort of strange exception in terms of how you play him. Because it's just, it's just very different in the way that you move around the room and stuff. Right. Tinted rock there, I think? Is that tinted rock? It looks it to me. Hey, it is. Lovely. I'm going to do this room so that I have a use of uh, jackbo uh, Jackbox. What the hell am I about? Um, well, whatever the hell it's called. You know the one. Compost. Right. Probably use some bombs here if I can. Don't need to use a ton. I think two will probably do. Yeah, it's going to be a slightly long fight here. Well, there's another thing as well about this character. Definitely adds some unique challenge. Like, it's definitely can be a harder character, and that challenge is pretty interesting. Unfortunately, the poop slick there slowed me down enough to get hit by that. Slightly annoying. There you go. We got her. We got her. Still, unfortunately, no, um... No, what's it called? HP ups. It's just really unfortunate that we're not getting any. And like I said, I don't know if tears up works for us. I Like I said, I, I have to imagine it does. But I ain't sure. Okay. Composting. I'm not sure if when I compost, if it duplicates the exact type of fly, or if it just gives me another, like, an, the same amount of flies, but, like, it doesn't have to be the same type. It doesn't really make a difference either way, but I'm just curious. Oh, God. What the hell is this guy doing? Oh, Lord. Didn't realize what enemies they were for a second. I do seem to be generating flies quicker with higher tier rate. I'm pretty sure. Definitely feels that way. So the tears up hasn't been bad at all. Lord, laser boys. Yeah, because like I'm clearing rooms a lot quicker. And like I'd only be doing that if I was generating more flies, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, I guess. But yeah, this is this character's kind of like the 
guppy of characters. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice if, like, each fly that hit, like, basically has, like, a 10% chance to count as a tier or something, so that, like, or, like tier effects items, even if they're modded, would still work. I think that'd be a cool way of, uh, of remedying the situation with especially modded items that don't have bespoke synergies created. I think, that's the, I think that's the problem. I think this character does have a lot of synergies, but all of them are, like, handcrafted synergies. So when it comes to, like, modded items, even though some of them have really logical ways in which they would work, they don't have them because the developer would have to go through the time of doing that and making support for that. Um, and I don't think this character has any modded, character, uh, any modded item support right now, from what I know. Oh, lovely. This one was a dead end. There you go. It's a bit cheeky game. Bit cheeky. Another double key room here. Oh, Lord. How did I not get hit there? Wow. Up in here. Don't really need all this stuff, to be honest, but I'll pick it up anyways. Not really found a good use for my gift card yet, either. It makes anything into a mysterious gift, but not really found a good item to turn into it, and I don't really, I haven't really found any secret rooms recently, either, so it's not, not the most applicable right now. Take out you, if I can. I don't know what these little star things are meant to do. They just kind of seem to hang out. Try our best against Mum here, but I genuinely don't know how well this is going to go. I feel like this is going to be slightly rough because I'm going to have to do a lot of moving around and dodging. I suppose what I can do is I can just kind of sit here and hope for the best and let my flies kind of handle everything, but I don't know. That never seems like a great tactic. <laughs> the flies seem to like have a mind of their own and they either just think, eh, no, not today. I'm not going to target anything or... um. They go for the complete wrong enemy if there's any other enemies available. But two bombs there should put us in a good spot. I'm losing all my wisps. At least it saved me from damage, I guess. Oh god, that was very close. There you go. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. And we do have a devil deal here. Little horn probably does work, but I don't think I could I could go down to one heart here, really, could I? Um let's go up. And go down to one heart there. Might be a little bit rough. Yeah. So we we are probably a little bit behind the damage curve in terms of uh, in terms of our actual stats, but I think with like compost and stuff, we have a reasonable path forward. We should be able to do okay. Should be able to do okay. Oh lord. God damn! I did not know this enemy did that. Oh god damn it! Yeah, every other room having double flies is really, really nice. Something as well I didn't mention about this character because it didn't really come up. If we end up finding a fly-based trinket, it'll automatically be gulped onto the character, which is really, really nice. I like the way that for the for the past while we've had no face as well. Ow, very bad hit. Not quite sure what you do, but I'd very much not like to find out. <laughs> For God's sake, the flies can't catch up. Look effect a chance to fire metal tier with the eye of the occult. Oh my God. Got some really good stuff here that n none of it is able to be used by us. I guess I'll try it, but I don't think, I don't think it's going to do anything because it's tier based. Like I said, they just need to make it so that every so often a fly impact counts as a tier. That would make that work really well. Or like generating a fly counts or as firing sort of thing. Just there's some method to use those. Good deal. Not particularly easy room here. Okay, that wasn't so bad actually. Get some mini Isaacs. Oh, little hollows. Look at them. Look at them. They've got their own sprites and everything. Good 
good. Extra keys. Well, we've got nine keys. That isn't going to matter. Okay, you're going to be lobbing pots at me. You're throwing out dudes as well. Oh, God. I want to get a bomb in there again, but no time. Not worry about it. Okay. Can't tell if I've gone the wrong way at the moment, I'll be honest. See, these wisps are saving my life. The amount of times I would have been hit if not for these wisps getting in the way and blocking stuff for me. What the hell's left? Oh, there's a spider over here, I see. Thank you, Pot, for generating that for me. Okay, we got mini boss here. Which isn't so bad. Not exactly an easy one. Really? Oh, for God's sake. You moved so much when I fired that bomb off at you. Okay, beautiful. You're dead. Give us an angel item. Soul Heart would also be good, but yeah. Sensor, pretty happy. Good stuff. Sensor's what I'm talking about. A trinket trader. Um, To be fair, I guess that's like not... Like, I, I probably should go for that. Gr grab... Go over there, give you that, and then come over here and give you that, and see if you give me anything a little more worthwhile. I mean, more mirrored stuff is always nice. I don't really have the health for it, but I'll take it. Tainted disc. I'll just pop that now. Can't remember how this green thing works. Oh, God. You're gonna be caught in a trap here. Oh hell, I have some I have some purple flies right now. I'm not quite sure what they're from. I'm guessing it's one of the tainted treasures, but pretty cool looking, right? I was gonna say maybe they gain herming. They already have herming, you fool. Okay, I think this is gonna be a rough fight. Like, god damn, I think this is going to take a while. I don't know if my tainted treasure item is helping me at all there, either. But yeah, even this first phase damage is uh, taking its sweet time. And then, honestly, the sensor right now isn't helping at all. Dude, you can't give me temper tantrum and it do nothing. That's so mean. Okay. Okay. What? No, the slowed down T has still got me. Oh my god. Okay, we might die here. It's... Most certainly plausible. We'll see. Yeah, sensor's kind of completely fucking me. Yeah, oh god, I died. Okay. Well, anyways, that was a pretty a pretty interesting run as the hollow for our first one. Unfortunately, not too many synergies, and again, not too many health ups, which was a real shame. But either way, a fun one nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.